President Macron, distinguished guests. It has been eight months since we recorded the first ever COVID-19 case in Malta. Since then, we have witnessed an unprecedented change in our lives. It has been a very steep learning curve for the entire world, where we better appreciated our strengths and weaknesses across all areas of everyday life. We quickly learned that preventive measures have devastating effects on our economies, and that these measures need to be supplemented by fiscal ones to flatten the economic recession curve. In our specific case, given the dependence on tourism, the effect was much more profound. In very little words, we learned a very important lesson, that our policy approach must balance the needs of public health, economic resilience, climate change, and demographic risks. In doing so, we must ensure that markets remain open, especially for essential products and to ensure the sustainability of their global value chains. Trade facilitation measures for critical goods and services is also key, as is the coordination of the global community's efforts. Because this is a global crisis which knows no borders, the fora and frameworks for such multilateral coordination, though already existing, need to be strengthened on both a global and regional level. But we must invest more in them. Before concluding, my appeal goes to two separate yet interlinked issues, the environment and the technological revolution. The environment is one of the areas where the current pandemic has taught us most. It was an eye-opener. We realized the scale of efforts required to restore our biodiversity, to reach our climate ambitions, and to give future generations a chance. This too is an area that needs a coordination of global efforts, efforts to mainstream green recovery processes into our economic policies. It will not be easy, but doing nothing is not an option. And technology, which is very interlinked with this, provides us with the tools we need to change our way of life without disrupting our economies. But again, significant investments are needed worldwide in reskilling, to accelerate innovation processes and towards the digitalization of processes.